Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Keystone Cougar 369 BHS. This is a beautiful bunk house layout with dual opposing slides in the main living area, theater seating directly across from the TV, a kitchen island, and a big bunk room with a slide out. Let's start off right over here on the campsite slide. You'll see that you have your standard dinette. You can easily sit four people here, plus it's on the campsite. So what that means is you have a great view out to your campsite. I love it when manufacturers do this, that way I'm having my cup of coffee. I can see what's going on right outside. You'll also see that you have a leatherette material here for the upholstery itself. So that way it's nice and easy to clean up if you have little kiddos. Another couple of things that I love about this, folks, look at the panoramic windows. Basically, this entire slide is all window. You have windows on the sides of the slide, big windows all the way, you know, essentially from the top of the table all the way up to the ceiling. So it lets in a ton of natural light, really opens the space up. LED lights on the ceiling as well help keep it nice and bright. And they're on a dimmer switch. So if you want to dim them down a little bit at night, you can do that as well. You'll see that the slide fascias light up, gives it that nice extra aesthetic uh, pop and appeal, which is cool. And then right over here is your theater seating. Thomas Paine collection. These are your recliners directly across from that 50 inch 4K TV. Probably the two best seats in the house. Perfect for kicking back and relaxing. You'll see you have some cup holders right there. And then you also have storage right in the center for your remote. Another quick note on the windows. The thing I like about these blinds, uh, that you know they have a wood look to them, but they, they are tension blinds. So you can raise them and lower them just like this. Also, you can turn this to just open and close them. So you have a couple different options as far as what you want to do with the blinds, kind of the best of both worlds. Right over here, you have a little coat hook, a little pegboard there too. You know, if you want to put some notes on there, you can certainly do that. Right back here is the bunk room. We'll go back there in just a second. First, I want to finish off the living area and the kitchen. And also right up here, you have a thermistor. So this way, uh, you know, you have a couple different zones in here that will detect what the temperature is in this main living space. So as I mentioned, 50 inch 4K TV right across from theater seating. That is tied into this multimedia center right here, which is a DVD player. And underneath that is the beautiful 48 inch fireplace. Uh, it does an excellent job of helping to take the chill off kind of in this little living space right here. And it runs off electric so you don't have to burn propane. If we take a look right here, pull these drawers out. You have a little bit of storage on both sides. Also can lift these up. You'll see they are strut supported for easy one hand operation. You have good storage up top there as well. Moving into the kitchen, you have the double door French style Dometic fridge freezer combo. Can open that up for you so you can see the space in there. Plenty of room in there folks. A lot bigger than you know the standard eight cubic foot that you get in most of the uh, fifth wheels these days. And this one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Right down here is your center island. This will be your main prep space. You'll see the beautiful solid surface countertops on here. High rise pull out faucet as well. So that way makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. The sink top covers are cutting board quality. So I recommend you know flipping them over so you have knife marks on one side. But obviously you can do whatever you want. But when we take that off, that will reveal our undermount double bowl stainless steel sink there. It's a double equal bowl. Very modern cut to it as well. And then you have electrical outlets, of course. So if you need to plug anything in, whether you know, it be a blender, toaster, whatever it may be, you have the capability to do that. Right around this side, you'll see you have three full extension drawers. You have your little silverware tray right there as well. Underneath the sink, you have massive storage, plenty of room for a big trash can, which a lot of times in RVs you can't get. But in this one, you definitely have the space. Right over here, again, uh, solid surface. You have more prep space thanks to the recessed cooktop with the glass cover. You can fold this up and back. It doubles as a backsplash. That'll open up your cooktop. You can see this is the upgraded cooktop and oven. It has uh, kind of more residential grate look on it. You have more grates. The, the less expensive Furion version you know, won't have near as many uh, kind of grates essentially on top of the burners there. The, the knobs themselves do light up. If you want them to light up, it's kind of cool. Right underneath is your oven. Again, as I mentioned, this is a bigger oven than you'll find in a lot of RVs. Generally, you know, they're about half this size. So this is quite usable if you're one that likes to do some baking. Underneath, this drops down for some additional storage there. And then right over here, this swings open for more storage yet there. 
Now you'll also see there's an electrical outlet here. So if you want to put your coffee maker there, it's an excellent spot for it. There's another one I'll show you in just a moment. 30 inch microwave, so big microwave in here for some of your larger items. You have like a little wine rack right here on the side or if you wanna put spices in there, you know, it makes an excellent spot for spices as well. And then some additional storage right there up top. We take a look over here, you kinda of get into the like coffee bar or hutch area. Gorgeous backsplash right here. I absolutely love this. I, I like that they were able to tie the gray into the, the whites and the browns. You'll see that you have an electrical outlet there as well. This is probably where I'd put my coffee maker, but again, uh, you know, like I said, there are a couple different options. You have the glass on the center doors here to kind of break up the wood look, but just to give you an idea of the storage there, it's nice and big. You have a little bit on the sides here as well. And then if we take a look underneath, I'll open this one up for you real quick too, just to kind of show you what you're working with. So plenty of storage all the way throughout this main living area. One last thing I do want to show you real quick, if we come up the stairs, there's a couple things here. One is the fact that you have a grab handle that's already installed, so that way, you know, if you're getting up in the middle of the night or your guests are, or even if you're, you know, you're just walking up to your bedroom, it just gives you that additional support. You know that there's backers right here too, so it's not just going to rip out of the wall. You have a motion sensor light, so as soon as you walk in, you can have all the other lights off. This one will detect motion, turn on for you, so you have enough light to be able to see around where you're moving. Right up here uh, in the hall, we have a couple different things. So I'll start right up top. This is uh, essentially 4G LTE prep. So if you want Wi-Fi, you know, as you're traveling, you can get this service, which is great. You will also see a couple switches here. Those are for the lights. You have one uh, that is essentially for right above your uh, kitchen island there, which is awesome. And then you have the other one, which is an auxiliary light, kind of, uh, you know, just an accent light there. Next to that, you have 12 volt heating pads on all of your tanks. So if you're traveling through cold climates, you can flip these on, that way it'll help prevent your tanks from freezing up on you. And then right underneath that is the in-command system. This, we have low voltage here, but uh, this is an awesome system, folks. And what it basically does is it takes all that big ugly control panel, condenses it into everything right here. You can control lights, your slides, your HVAC, water pump, water heater. One of my favorite parts about this though, and you'll see that you do have you know, your front AC and rear AC, but you can actually schedule when you want that AC to start and stop. So if you know that you know midday, around 11 o'clock, it starts getting warm, you can schedule your AC to kick on at what temp you want it to, to get to, and then you can have it stop at a certain time as well. So I personally think that is an awesome feature. So we take a look back in the bunk room here, you'll see this is a quad bunk. You have the slide out right here, the uh, bunk right up top. This one has a 300 pound weight capacity, so you can have adults sleep up there, which is fantastic. You have the jackknife style sofa right down below here. Easy to make up, you just lift it up like so and drop it down. You will see you have additional storage right down there as well, which in my opinion makes a perfect spot to store a lot of the extra bedding. Right here is your entertainment center. It has the key TV right there, which is great. Uh, that really simplifies the whole process of having cable to all of your TVs. Electrical outlet there as well. You'll see you have some storage up top as well as a little bit right down below. Then on the other side here, again, we have two bunks. So the top bunk right here, you'll see that there's drawers built in here, which I think is absolutely genius, you know? Yeah, we, any little bit of storage we can get, we'll definitely take. You have the bunk right down below. You can see you have a light here. Bigger drawers underneath here. You can see those are nice and big, so you can actually have like folded pants and stuff right in there. You also have an AC in here. So, you know, you want to talk about being cool. Uh, you know, this will keep you nice and cool. Plus, you have the racetrack AC system, so the two ACs are working together to cool down uh, this fifth wheel. Right up here, if we open this up, take a look. Additional storage right here. Same thing going all the way down. So there's definitely not a lack of storage in the bunkhouse. As we take a look at the bathroom, you'll notice that you have a pivot door on here. So that way it doesn't matter which way you're coming to the bathroom. If you're coming from the bedroom or from the main living area, you can easily get in here. You'll also see right down here, you have your foot flush lever toilet. It is a porcelain bowl. You have plenty of room for both the shoulders as well as for the legs. A linen closet right up over here. So that's an excellent spot, obviously, to store all of your towels, washcloths, things like that. A large shower. I'll step in here just to kind of show you. I'm six foot. You see, I have plenty of space here. You know, if you're taller, you're six two, six three. There is a skylight in here as well. So I mean, you can probably even be six four and still be able to stand under that skylight and shower, which is great. You have the tri-slide glass door right here, a hand wand. There's also a seat on the back side, so if you want to put your legs up to shave your legs, it's easy to do that. 
we take a look right here, you'll see the mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it. Nice big bowl. This makes it really easy to wash your hands. You're not splattering water everywhere. You'll see you have an electrical outlet there and then a little additional storage as well as plumbing access underneath. When we step into the master bedroom, you see the king bed in a slide out. That way you can walk around the foot of the bed here. And of course, the great thing about a king bed is you're not going to be elbowing each other in the middle of the night. You see the big leather headboard up front, a couple LED lights, windows on the sides, those do open. So that way you have cross ventilation at night if you don't want to run the AC. Again, you have the shelves on the side with electrical outlets in case you need to plug anything in. And you also have storage underneath the king bed. We can lift that up. You'll see it is strut supported. Even though it's not super deep, it is still a large storage area. So if you have big items that you need to store, it's probably a good spot to do it. Right up in the very front here is the wardrobe. You'll see that you have the shelf going across the top. Then right underneath, you have the hanging rod there. Back in the corner, you have electrical outlet as well as a USB port. You'll also see that you have the little uh, shelf area there, a little extra storage hidden. And then right here, we'll open this up. You see big extra storage area. If you want washer and dryer, it is prepped here. This is where it would go. Otherwise, as I mentioned, this is just a really big storage space. You have a window right here that is an emergency exit. TV right up top, 32 inch TV. You'll see that it is on a swing arm mount. It's also, uh, they built this around just to make it look a little bit nicer. Right underneath that, you have a dresser with four drawers. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Cougar 369BHS. Right up front here, you have the gorgeous painted front cap. You'll see LED lights inlaid in the side here. You also have the hitch vision as well as an LED light. So that way as you're backing up, it'll help you align the kingpin with your hitch. Of course, this one also has the max turn technology. That way as you are backing up, if you have a slider hitch on there, it can actually make a greater than 95 degree turns, which is pretty darn impressive. Coming right underneath here, open up this front storage compartment you can see right in there you have your spare tire tucked away and then over to the side here is your battery they also do a good job of cable management all your wires are kind of off to one side they're not just running all over the place if you look down underneath you will see that this one does have auto level the controls for that are in the off door side we'll take a look at that in a little bit one of your two 30 pound propane tanks will be right here on this side the other one of course will be on the other side Power awning on here. Not only do you have one on the main area, but if you take a look at the slide, you will see you have another one on the slide there. So essentially, this entire side has awning coverage. You just touch a button to roll those out. Same thing to have them go right back in. And you have LED light strips there, so you have light at night. Underneath, you have two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable, so that way you can be right out here and somewhat control it on your smart device. So we look at the pass-through, of course you have a covered hinge on there, it's also slam latch and magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. If your kids come and you know they forget and they go to drop it, no big deal, it's just magnets, you're not going to break any plastic tabs there. If we take a look inside at the pass-through storage, Cougar has one of the largest pass-through storage uh, sizes in a mid-profile. You'll see there's not any plumbing or anything running down through here, it is completely open, which is awesome. Right over here, you'll see that this one has a motion sensor light, so that way, again, you open it up, that turns on for you. The brains of the in-command system. This is an awesome system, folks. I showed you the module inside, but here, in the event that anything fails, you have some redundancy. You can take this off, you can take a look, and the troubleshooting is so much easier with this system. All the wires are color-coded, color -coded. everything is mapped out inside here. It really is cool. If we take a look at uh, right next to that, this is your TV hookup, so you have a mount. Obviously, you want a swing arm here, the uh, satellite and cable outlets right there, and then you also have your electric outlet. If you want to plug something in outside, you don't want to plug it in on the pass-through, this is the place you would do it. And then coming over another step, you get into the more ride step above system. Now, a couple of things I love about this. One, you'll see that you have four steps on here. A lot of times you only have three steps on a lot of RVs. Not the case. You get the full four steps. Aluminum treads with the grip, so that way you have uh, some better traction if it's wet. You also have the foldable grab handle right here, which you can grab from the very first step to aid you in walking in and out. The other thing I love about these folks is how sturdy they actually are. I am over 200 pounds. I can jump up and down on here, and as you can see, 
they don't flex. Unlike your standard steps, you know, it kind of sometimes feels like a springboard, especially after a couple of years. Not at all the case here. They also had this little customized Keystone RV on there, which I think looks kind of nice and it has a light behind it. So when you turn that on, it lights up at night. Just kind of a cool little extra aesthetic piece. This little sticker is awesome too. This shows that this has climate guard protection. That's something that's new for uh, 2019. And the, the thing I love about that is it not just protects this coach in the cold, but also in the heat. It makes sure everything stays nice and cool. I talked to you about the 15,000 BTU AC with the second one. Uh, you also have that racetrack AC in there helping to keep things nice and cool. You have Astrofoil underneath the slides. You know, that helps keep uh, the heat in on those cold days. You have the 12 volt heat tanks on here. You have a 35,000 BTU furnace. Folks, they do an awesome job as far as making sure you're going to stay comfortable in your fifth wheel. If we drop down underneath, look at the wheels. You have aluminum alloy wheels there, absolutely gorgeous. And they'll continue to be so because it's aluminum and it doesn't rust. Right in the middle is your road armor suspension system. You get six inches of travel there. That reduces vibration to the chassis over 30%. So what that means essentially to you is that you'll have less stuff moving around in there and less chance of broken dishes when you get to your destination. Making our way back a little bit further here, one of my favorite parts about having a bunk model is oftentimes you get an outside kitchen. And they did a great job here as well. One of the, the biggest things I like about the outside kitchen, of course, is the refrigerator. It's one of the things I love most. You'll see that you have a bigger one here, so you have plenty of space for your condiments, beverages, everything else you need. Little shelf up top. Plenty of storage here for like uh, solo cups or you know if you wanna put liquor bottles out here, you have enough space for that as well. Shelf right down below, of course, you have an LED light too. Electrical outlet, if you need to plug anything in, you also have prep space, sink off to the side. And one of my favorite parts is this right here, the fact they give you the capital grill versus just a two burner cooktop. Because with this, you can do both. If you wanna use it as a cooktop, you can, but you can also use it as a grill. And when I'm outside, generally I'm grilling. So I think that is a, an awesome addition to have in any outside kitchen. Making our way around to the back here, a couple quick things. You'll see that this has a two inch receiver, 300 pound weight capacity on there. This is cool too because it gives you a lot of flexibility. If you want a bike rack, put a bike rack in there. You want a cargo rack, put a cargo rack in there. The choice is up to you, but it does come standard from the manufacturer, which is great. 50 amp detachable power cord here, as you would expect. You have two ACs plus a fireplace in there. Uh, you know, you're gonna want that 50 amp. Now granted, you can step that down to a 30 and still run AC, it's not gonna be a problem, uh, but you'll only be able to essentially run one at a time. Right here is your rear mounted ladder. You can climb up onto the roof there for any kind of maintenance or if you need to get, get up there and brush off sticks, pine cones, things like that. You also have backup camera prep there. So that way if you want a backup camera, which may not be a bad idea, it's a pretty big fifth wheel, getting that prep will be less expensive because it's less labor, meaning you'll save money. If you plan on going boondocking or somewhere rather where you just don't have city water, you'll want to make sure you're fresh, you fill your fresh water tank and that will be located right back here. Then as we take a look on the off-door side of the pass-through here, the, this is essentially the rest of our connection. So naturally you have a light, you have an outside shower with hot and cold water access. Everything you need for winterization, including your water heater bypass is right here. If you have city water, that will be your city water inlet, black tank flush. Now, as I mentioned, this one can, uh, you can camp in this in colder climates. So both the black and gray tank valves are insulated here. You see the battery disconnect. Your key TV right here, those will be the inlets for that. And then you also have the solar prep. So if you want solar, just buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. You'll also see this, so depending on what you want, you can have this flat. If you have some larger items going all the way across, you can lift that up, store some other items right in here, just kind of maximizing that space. And lastly, your auto level control will be located right up there. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Keystone Cougar 369 BHS. If you're interested in this beautiful fifth wheel and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.